How many beers do you think you've served over? Oof. Come on. <laughs> I don't think I could count that high. George Pirelli worked at Rosendale's Pleasant Cafe for almost 70 years. He started out making pizzas in the restaurant in the late 30s and then took a part-time job behind the bar after returning from World War II. In 1964, he became the full-time bartender on the 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. day shift. He stayed on that shift until his retirement late last year. This was a very neighborhood bar. You could tell the time of day by the time the customers come in and the seat they sat in. It was very, this was a second home to a lot of people. They'd get off the bus stop and they'd pop right in here before they went home. Wow. Yeah. Did you know exactly what everybody wanted as soon as they came yeah. in? Yeah. I didn't know their names, but I knew what they drank. <laughs> yeah. I, was always I think that was a bowling trophy. A softball. I, so it, it, I cleaned it enough. It I still don't know what it was about. <laughs> it probably hasn't been cleaned since you left. <laughs> Pickwick Gale. Schaefer's. Did I say Narragansett? Yeah. Pickwick Gale, Valentine Gale, Nickabaka. Nickabaka was a big seller. Yes. Oh, the drafts here, were they uh, the 10 oh, ounces? Uh, Seven? Well, between 8 to 10 ounces. 8 to 10 ounces. How much was that when you first started? Uh, when I first started, it was, when I first started, it was 3 for quarter. Then it went up to 15 cents. No. Yeah, 15 cents. A ball and a beer would cost you 40 cents. A ball, a shot. A shot of whiskey and a glass of beer. What, what type of whiskey were you serving? Bo Thompson, Seven, Costas, PM, you name it. I'm the young fellow. Young fellow, huh? <laughs> Why'd you stay with it so long at the same place? I just loved it. What you, would you love about it? Oh, I mean, the guys, you know, yeah, yeah. It, it, even my daughter, my daughters would say, gee, Dad, you haven't got a job. You've got a, you got a, what would you call it? You just go to work and you meet the guys and you drink and you eat for nothing. What, <laughs> you know, so that was it. You remember some of those names in there? Oh, yeah, I know quite a few of them. Yeah. Oh, Leo Murphy, I gotta tell him. He always was. Hey, Green, Bill Doherty, 20 bucks. Pompey owes $432. He was one of the owners. 